that arm, right? Before we do that, we kind of covered rate from mount on Tuesday, and that's the, probably the worst way to teach you how to do mount. Because you're never just gonna be parachute dropped into mount, right? That'd be great. You're rolling, all of a sudden you come through the ceiling and like, and you start doing your mount attacks. You gotta get there, right? So generally how you get there is from side control. You pass the guard and you end up in side control. This is how most side control is taught. With my arm under the head and this arm is on the other side of the body. What I'm doing in side control is there are four corners of Jesse's body. Two on the hips and two on the shoulders. And in assuming this position, I have a knee on the hip, elbow on the hip, I have this shoulder controlled and I have my knee under this one. So now I'm controlling the box, right? The problem is the distance between my knee and hip is always going to be longer than the distance between his elbow and shoulder. Usually, like it's almost always. No matter how hard I try to keep my hip here, he can always dig his elbow in. He has his frame on my hip now. He can just shrimp away, get his knee in, and I, I get back in the garden. I, all that work I've done is, ah, right? So is there a better side control, better kind of default position you can get in when you're pinning someone from side? There is. What I want you to do with your partner is two things. One is put both your arms on this side, right? I, I'm still controlling the four corners of the box. I have this elbow on the hip. My knee is still touching this hip. I have two arms on this one now, and my knee is still touching this one. The great thing though is the distance from my knee to my hip is no longer relevant. I'm so much closer to his head, he can't get his elbow in now. It's stuck. So I don't have to worry about that stupid frame and shrimp, right? And I have this. So this is what I want you to get to first. Next is, I, who was here Tuesday? Remember I was pointing on my nose and I pointed on my finger? And I, I was relating it to having your shoulder on their sternum and how y'all suck and I suck at spatial awareness. I suck at spatial awareness here. I think I'm in like a T. Me and Jesse are forming the letter T. He's the, he's like the, the trunk of the T and I'm like the cross. Really, I should be up like this. This is a better cross to the T. Even though I think I'm like, a, like an A-frame now, or like a Y. I think I'm like, I'm like a big Y with him. I'm probably more closer to a T now. Closer too, right? I want you to get here. That's the first step. What I want you to do is transition them out properly. This is one of the beginner's worst things that they do. I'll show you what all y'all do when you first start. <laughs> no, yes! It's never gonna happen. <clears throat> never gonna happen, yeah. What anyone who's been training for more than two months is going to do when you try that is this. Hiya, and then ah! And you do this, yeah. that's the beginner, like, get off, oh, I got my leg. <laughs> like, all of that, I see it every time. What I want you to do as a new person who's gonna transition him out pro properly, is you're gonna go across the waist. I'm gonna put my knee on his hip, drive my shin across, and then slap the mat with my foot with authority. I wanna hear a bunch of slapping on the mats tonight. I'm seriously, I wanna hear, I wanna hear this. <laughs> over and over and over again, all the way around the room, right? So the drill will look like this, five times each. Back and forth, you're like this, bad, good. I feel better here, I have more control. Put your knee up on their waist, slide it over till it touches the mat, and then I mount. That's what I want as proper mount, right? Come back, grab the arm, adjust my spatial awareness so I am actually think I'm in a Y, but I'm not. Knee comes up. Watch what happens to his arm as I do this. Look how exposed his arm is. We're gonna attack this, right? Get with your partner and do that. I'll come around to help, right? 